Do you think the likes of Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, affirmed their way to success? Or do they even know what manifestation is? We're going to be uncovering that in this video today and exactly how you can use their traits in order to get what it is that you want. So I was on a call the other day with a client and they were telling me that they're going into business with this extremely successful person who has multiple businesses and is just a magnet for all the beautiful things in life. And my client had asked this person, do you manifest? Because the way that your life is looking, it's like you're a wizard. Like, are you Harry Potter or not? I need to know the secret. And much to my client's surprise, this person doesn't manifest. They don't know about manifestation. But it was interesting what then unfolded after that conversation. And this ties back to the very successful figures of our time, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates. And that is focus. Bill Gates said only through focus can you do world class things, no matter how capable you are. The same goes for the owner and CEO of NVIDIA, who said smart people focus on the right things. Focus always precedes success. And this is why manifestation works, because you are single handed handedly focusing on what it is that you want. And so while yes, these founders, these extremely successful people may not even believe in manifestation, but they are obsessed with the outcome. They're not affirming 500 times per day. I am successful. I am successful. They're aff affirming 70,000 times per day. I am successful. I am focused on what it is that I want. I always get the results that I desire because it's me. It's an obsession, a healthy obsession and not from desperation. But always asking the questions, how can I improve? How can I be better? How can I streamline this? How can I expedite this? It's a constant obsession. It's morning to night. There is no off time. When they're on holiday, they're thinking about work. When they're working, they're thinking about work. When they're whatever it is that they're doing, how can I improve? How can I push the needle? It's a constant obsession. There is no circumstance that is too big to overcome because they have that focus on the end goal and so how do you have a focus how do you ha uh, cultivate that focus on what it is that you want well what the fuck do you want <laughs> people are walking around they don't even know what they want they say oh i want more money okay here's a tenner you got your money is that good for you no because you're not specific you're not saying it with your chest how can you possibly drawing what it is or who it is that you want when you have no idea what it is or who it is that you want i just want a better life well what does a better life mean what does a better life look like are you traveling the world making thousands of dollars a day doing what you want are you living with a white picket fence on a farm with horses and animals and never having to work again like say it with your chest and then focus on it every day like your life depends on it regardless of what comes up in your reality i don't think half of the people could handle the stresses that these world leaders have to endure on a daily basis like elon musk for example trying to fly a rocket to the moon you know which supposedly we did in 1948 whenever it was when we had no resources now we have all the resources and we can't do it it's very odd but he is constantly failing he's constantly having to overcome these failures but he has an end goal and he's laser focused on it like his life depends on it he could chill on a beach for the rest of his life and never have to worry again he doesn't leave his office so you really have to understand why these people have what it is that you want and you may not or some people are living the life of their dreams and you're just barely getting by like it's a constant obsession like your life depends on it and you may say yeah but my 3d this my 3d that my 3d this my 3d that you are your 3d <laughs> so what are you putting out how are you showing up i was on the, on a call the other day and we were talking about how you know, this person had had this time at university and this person had this time here and all of this stuff. And there was a bad time here and a bad time there. And I'm like, well, wherever you go, there you are. And so we have too much knowledge. We have too much experience now to be going to places, shit kicking off and blaming the circumstances. Everywhere I go, I am treated like royalty. Everywhere I go, magic happens because I am the magic. I bring the magic. And so that's what I see in my reality. And the same goes for you. If everywhere you go, there's magic or everywhere you go, there's shit. You have to look in the mirror. Like, what are you doing? How are you being? And the same goes for when we were talking about how I'd left home um, at like at 15. And I was like, I would have rather died, died, literally 
then stay there another day longer. And so when you are willing to do whatever it is, whatever it is, whether that's affirming in your mind, because it's, it's all right affirming, you know, I'm gonna affirm, I'm gonna affirm, okay? But you also need to take action. I can affirm and sit here all day in this gorgeous place. I have just posted a YouTube video. I have just posted a YouTube video. Okay, but who's gonna film it? Who's gonna edit it? Who's gonna put it out, right? You have to take that action at some point and have that focus on the end goal from a, a stable standpoint. That's why we do the breath work. That's why we do the rampages. That's why we listen to sleep affirmations at night to rewire our subconscious. That's why we're constantly affirming throughout the day and reframing our thoughts the most important thing that we do when in your mind it's like oh this is bad is happening this bad is happening we change it everything good is always happening for me everything always works out for me and when you have that focus on what it is that you want there is nothing and nobody that can come between you and your desires you and your dream person you and your dream home you and your dream business yes it's going to take a second but relax, if you know, okay, I end up here at, with these people, with this amount of money, with this reality, why does it matter if it happens now or in, an, in a year? It doesn't matter. You already know what the end goal is. That's why focus always precedes success. So what is it that you're focusing on throughout the day? Who is it that you're focusing on throughout the day? We have to overcome these high emotions by stabilizing ourselves, by relaxing into the knowing that it's already done, the knowing that you get what you want. And we do this through repetition. We do this through persisting. We do this through never taking no for an answer. And so really just sit there and ask yourself, okay, if focus always precedes success, what is it that I have been focusing on for the past day? What is it that I am constantly obsessing about in my mind? How am I truly talking to myself on a daily basis? You need to start understanding your thoughts. You need to start catching them like your life depends on it so that you can become obsessed in a healthy way about those desires as if they're here right now, as if you are on this beach, as if you are on this yacht, as if you are, you are counting this money, whatever it may be. You know, there is no secret technique to getting what it is that you want. You're just constantly becoming, constantly shedding, constantly adapting, constantly evolving. And it gets to be easy for you just because you decide. And this is another thing about trauma is that when you have experienced that trauma, unfortunately, trauma begets trauma. And so you do find yourself, and especially, you know, when I look at my journey and my evolution, especially when I came out of my childhood and teenage years and going off into the world by myself, I definitely was in such chaotic situations. Bad things would constantly happen to me, where bad people were constantly in my vicinity, where I was always, you know, at the short end of the stick, didn't ever have enough, and I, you know, things were always shitty for me, because wherever I went, there I was. And so this really has to change, and you cannot fake that, you can't fake that. And we do this by constantly showing up, regardless of what you're seeing, regardless of who's in your reality or who isn't. Remember, if they are out there, if that thing is out there, it's also within here. Because you are the operant power. There is no in between. So I trust this video helped you manifest. I would love to know what more you'd like to see on this channel, what else we can discuss. I'm thinking of doing some more lives. I did say I was gonna do a live on Sunday, but it's actually the Euro finals and England have made it. So it'd be a disservice my people <laughs> to miss it i'm not really a football fan but i kind of do love the vibe of going to the pub and seeing it also it's very exciting so i'm not going to be able to do that today and i may be traveling tomorrow so i will do a live more lives so i will do q and a's and things like that but what else would you like to see comment down below i want to hear your thoughts your ideas any video requests just let me know and i trust this video helped you manifest you are worthy you are loved i love you and thank you